Hi everyone, it's Kim and this is going to be week 7 of um, my pregnancy as I think it's, it, it is. Um, I did have my doctor's appointment on Monday which was just to verify that I was really pregnant and to help me get my insurance. So, um, it's like a different, you, whenever you're on insurance, you have to like switch it over to the pregnancy one, which covers like all the maternity stuff and parenting programs and such as that. Um, so yeah, I had to go do that. Um, and I told you that, um, I thought I was about six weeks due to around my, that I thought my last menstrual was because it was so irregular, like I really can't remember. But she said I was probably about eight weeks and one day. But I'm not going to switch it over to eight weeks until I actually get that ultrasound saying that because the baby measures to the amount, amount of week, uh, the, as, um, the amount of weeks you are. So before, if I do get the ultrasound, it says I'm eight weeks or it'll be nine weeks because my appointment's next week. But if it says I'm further along, then I will... Um, start updating you on that. Um, my symptoms, um, I've been peeing like a lot and that might be TMI for a lot of people. Um, the soreness of my chest area has calmed a little bit. It's not as sore. Um, I've been feeling sick but not getting sick. Um, I do feel nauseated at some times where I do gag but um, especially when I'm brushing my teeth but um, I haven't actually like got sick. Um, I'm definitely out of energy, and then I have like, well, I have, I'm not like all the way out of energy, I'm just like running out of energy, but there is times where I have that boost of energy where, um, I just want to get everything done and, you know, whatever, but sometimes the reason of my lack of energy is feeling nauseated where I don't want to get sick. Also, I've been starting cravings, um, I just want different stuff like salads and, um, Salads and chocolates and water. I've been craving water. Um, also, the round ligament pain that I was having last week is starting to go away, so that's great. Um, also, when uh, also I say also a lot. When I was at the doctor's office, she did give me some supplements, some um, vitamin supplements. And the pack that I'm on is in my bathroom, but I'm just going to show you what they look like. They have like a little sticky Velcro thing right here. And, um, it's like Velcro, so it just opens up and there's four in here and then you can just take one a day or whatever. However you feel like taking them or whenever you, you know, can take them. I take mine at night because they usually make me feel nauseated. So if I take it at night and then sleep with it, it's still getting everything done that it needs to get done. So yeah, and they're called Concept OB if you want to try the same one that I am on if you are pregnant. So yeah, um, doctor's appointment's coming up. I have one on Monday, next Monday on the 11th, I think it is. I think it's the 11th. Um, yeah, I have a doctor's appointment. I get my first ultrasound, which will definitely tell me how far along I am. I get my blood work and my pap smear. So, yeah, and also they just, like, go over with you, like, how many pregnancies have you had and labors and, you know, stuff like that. So, um, they said it's going to be a pretty long visit, and I'm excited about that because Naomi will be there and she will be able to see. So, yeah, um, I'm definitely excited about that. They also gave me some samples of formula, but Naomi has them on the floor, so it don't look like I'm going to be showing them. Well, here, but here's one. Okay, here's both of them. Let me show them to you real quick, which I will not be using these, but if you use this kind, please let me know, and I will ship these off to you. Um, this is with iron, the parent's choice one, is advantage, and then I have the gentle one as well. So, and this is a full day's worth of, a full day's supply right there. So yeah, if you're interested in those, please let me know, and I will send those off to you. Um... Also, I want to talk about some planning tips, and before I do that, I want to tell you guys something. On the 16th of April, there is a mommy fair going on around where I live in North Carolina. Um, it's actually here in Fayetteville, and so if you guys are interested in that and you live close to here, that would be great. You can just like personal message me and let me know you're going to be there. Um, 
So yeah, um, talking about mommy planning, and I know I'm only like seven, eight weeks, whatever I am, um, but this is my little planner, and um, I have two other children, so I want to like talk about planning and getting, jumping on the situation before it becomes a huge situation and you're kind of broke. So, I mean, I'm not talking about going out and buying clothes or you know, um, anything, because I know you don't know what you're having, and I don't go out buying clothes either. I mean, you can. You can buy yellows and, you know, stuff like that, especially if you don't want to know the sex. But, um, I just have, like, all my information in here, but every time that I get a little bit of money and I know that I'm actually going to have somewhere I can spend over, I'm planning on buying a pack of diapers, because whenever we had Naomi... Yes, and we didn't do that. We didn't buy diapers or anything until she was actually like here. We had like a pack waiting for her. But it was like our biggest mistake. Also, I've been burping a lot. But yeah, it was like our biggest mistake because it was like every week we was getting diapers. So if you just have some, some diapers and wipes like on hand, it's easier for you so you don't have to go out and take that baby out. Um, also, like make plans ahead like if you want to go get their pictures taken or something go to the year after and start like writing that down it might sound weird but that's what i do that's what i've done with her before she was born and it worked out perfectly um for your doctor's appointments and stuff i just i put everything in here um let's go to the month of march okay so there's all types of doctor's appointments right here a lot of them i have like a lot of empty spaces because I really didn't have anything going on at the time. But in April, I'm already, like, starting to fill in spots. And once I find out how far along I am, I will definitely be um, filling in more spots. Um, also, if you want to, like, mem like, have memory on some of, like, what's going on in your pregnancy, get, like, a notebook and start writing down, like stuff that's going on in your pregnancy and the dates and stuff so that's what I do and I just like I write everything down that is going on with me and I don't know it makes everything go by a lot faster well not faster but it just helps you like oh if like something happens and you know maybe you didn't feel good from a certain food you start getting sick then a doctor can go back and look and be like oh well you did have this this is probably what triggered it so yeah um with that being said i don't really feel like doing a belly shot do you guys really want a belly shot no 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 no, no. we'll do a belly shot next week yeah. and um i will be back on here monday evening to let you guys know um, how my ultrasound went with the ultrasound picture so you guys can see the baby. And, um, Monday is going to be an interesting day because we're actually letting more people know that we're pregnant after we get the ultrasound picture. So, that's going to be interesting. We'll see though. Um, also there's going to be a giveaway coming up on my other channel. If you want to check that out, the link will be right here. And it's going to be Pick My Baby's Name. And below in that video, like, I'll have everything in that video. So, I will talk to you guys later. Bye!